Agnes Vale Trail is still closed. We foolishly hiked this trail recently because we did not know it was closed. We um, had a great time and I'll tell you the story of this trail in a minute, but it was a nice day, very windy. Uh, Dave wants to read the sign, which is kind of interesting about why the trail was named Agnes Vale Falls. I should say the waterfall was named Agnes Vale Falls. And there used to be a trail here going to the waterfall that made a loop, but that no longer exists. Agnes was born to a prominent Denver family and during World War I joined the American Red Cross in France. After the war, she became secretary to the Denver Chamber of Commerce. She had a passion for hiking and mountain climbing. She and her friend Joe Witchie planned to explore all of Colorado's massive peaks, but during a winter ascent of 14,250 feet Long's Peak, she slipped on ice and fell down the north face of the, amount of the mountain and survived the fall, but she froze to death before the help could arrive. Crap. So Joe Witchy, last name Love later on, named Agnes Vale Falls in memory of her friend. Joe Witchy was drawn to the splendor of the Rocky Mountains and moved from Ohio to Denver. In 1925, she moved here to Chalk Creek Canyon, where 14ers framed the valley. She met Wrangler and hunting guide Mark Love climbing Mount Princeton, and she later married him. They bought a small ranch in Chalk Creek Canyon and started a cabin camp for summer vacationers, naming it Love Ranch. Accident. Joe was heartbroken over his death, but she stayed for over 50 years to run the ranch and entertain guests. One frequent guest and friend of Joe's was Alex Haley, the author of Roots. Cool. It said, now, for those of us who are carrying camera apparatus, it's a half mile trail to the waterfall, but it is steep and rocky. Do not climb on rocks under the waterfall and be careful. Okay, okay. we'll see how far I get with the camera. This trail is um, near Mount Princeton Hot Springs, which is between Buena Vista and Salida in Colorado. It was very near our Cascade campground. I've got a video on that, and um, I'll try to figure out how to link it above. I'm not sure if I know how to do that yet, but I'll see if I can. Um, and it's, I guess, technically in Nathrop, Colorado. So um, the story on this trail is that a family died in 2013 from a really tragic rock slide. It was very sad when I read about it on Google. And um, I just, I don't know, I thought, there might be, after I read all about it, it seems like there should be some sort of sign telling us the trail is closed. Um, or a, I'd love to see a, a, like a memorial sign to them. Um, it was the Johnson family. And um, Walkers. Johnsons lived in Buena Vista. Dwayne, Donna, Kiowa Rain, Johnson, and Donna's nephews from Missouri were visiting Paris Walker and Bagan Walker. Um, and then also their young teenage girl, Gracie Johnson. They all went hiking. There was a lot of rain that that year that week that month i remember that I, I don't recall hearing about them dying but i do recall that all that rain that year and um <clears throat> so anyway there was a terrible terrible rock slide and all five people 
passed away except for young Gracie. Her father um, covered her, I guess, with his body or, or tried to shield her from the rocks and she survived. She was injured, but she survived and hopefully she's young, young woman now. But anyway, I didn't, we didn't know any of this when we started this trail. We're just bebopping along. There's lots of parking there at the trailhead, lots of people hiking it. Um, anyway, it is what it is, but um, you don't actually hike to the falls anymore. You stop short, and um, if you watch up here in a little while, you'll see just a few minutes actually, just a couple minutes, we lost our way. We couldn't find the trail. And I um, naively was like, I've never seen a log across the uh, trail to mark the way before. That's kind of weird. I mean, I can't believe I was so stupid. That was the indication that you're supposed to turn around. But we just kept going, as you will see. lost our way. It's just hard to see where the trail is. Dave's pretty good at this kind of thing. Just can see maybe it goes that way. Surely it goes along the creek. I bet it's on the other side. across that log. Are we? Oh look, there's a sign over there behind us. We're supposed to go back that way. See that's Yeah. Okay. Does not cross over. We just missed a turn. It is a nice looking area though, but it's easy to, I'm definitely going down. I'm glad I brought my stick. Going down is when I need my, I need my sticks way more than going up. Mostly I use my sticks to slow myself down because I get like giddy or something and then I twist my ankle or slide yep I guess this log here is supposed to indicate that that's a trail <laughs> I've never seen a log to indicate that's where you go usually it means you don't go there So we're still walking <laughs> naively or foolishly. Um, we're still walking on this trail. Not sure if I still to this day after reading about it, can't figure out if this part is really closed. If that log meant don't go past it. It's kind of up in the air really. Um, now, up at the top where we turned around, which is still not at the falls, but you can see the falls, um, it seemed pretty obvious that that was, we thought that was the end of the trail. We just thought it was straight up, straight back. So, anyway, the reason I'm saying all this is, number one, it's, it's, I'm saddened by the fact those people died. And um, number two, there, some members of their family still think that this trail, especially up at the waterfalls, from what I've read, is dangerous. The U.S. Forest Service on their website says trail is closed, um, but all trails still has it as open. 
as do a few other websites. So we were in Buena Vista, sitting around, waiting for the rain to stop, eating Chinese food. And um, Dave looked it up because we had our Verizon there on all trails. Of course, there's nothing indicating that there's any dangers. And I mean, it, granted, we didn't have any trouble, but still people, they need more accurate information. So anyway, I guess I'm a little perturbed that I didn't know that the trail was closed and we were still on it. There were a lot of other people there. And I just think there should be a, a sign saying, this trail's unstable at the end, hike at your own risk, or it's closed, or something. Because um, when you get out of the car, everything looks hunky-dory. So anyway, I'm going to let you see the footage I took of our walk. It is pretty. Um, is it the best trail I've been, ever been on? Absolutely not. But that's because we didn't get to go to the waterfall. <laughs> All trails uh, mark this as moderate, but since the little part that's sort of kind of open is just up and back, I'd say it was more like easy. Another thing is um, Google Maps has this listed as Kess Chalk Creek Trail. And from what I read, if they do officially reopen this, they're going to name it Chalk Creek Trail. And it's not going to go all the way up into the dangerous part. It's they're going to build some sort of viewing platform and then you can come back down. That's the plan. That's what I read in 2016. I don't know what it's going on in 2020. So um, I remember thinking when I saw this sign, it was a little weird, <laughs> but I didn't think much about it. Someone has come and, and made a handmade sign saying, do not go this way. Don't go to the right. Danger. We didn't go that way. We kept going. <laughs> Looking back on this, I feel like an just an idiot for not figuring this out before we went up there, but I don't know, Dave is like pretty experienced hiker. He's been hiking his whole life and I've gone with him quite a few times, but I mean, not on the like huge, huge, I've only climbed 114 or a few years back. Um, but anyway, we didn't know and I can't help but think other people probably don't know either especially if you're from out of town and you don't hike the mountains very much, you, you are not going to know about the danger here. It's just not going to be something you're really going to think about. So I believe this is part of the rock slide area. I'm not sure. And there's looking down the creek. Another sign. I 
I took out our um, audio. I mean, we were up there making jokes, having a good time, which is good. I mean, you're supposed to have fun when you're hiking. Just feel a little bit weird about it, knowing that family perished up there, and I'm just ha 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 laughing about it. I mean, not about that, but anyway. So we are still going. We can't quite find the trail. It's kind of hard to find, but we see what looks like is, you know, it's a trail, just not very well maintained. So we're still walking. <laughs> Finally, I see the falls through there. You can see it straight ahead. There's the waterfall. Here's our viewing platform. Now we're going to start with it. Yeah. I think this is the end of the... Well, that was a, not too bad. If we hadn't been doing the driveway, I would have been griping, but... Not so bad. There's the falls. And there's a little rapids coming down. My gimbal's out, so it's shaky. How do you rate this trail? It's short. Did you like it? Yeah. We, uh, so we were able to get a hike in because it's only half a mile and you can see the falls. And what's actually more scenic is looking across the valley at Mount Antero. Yeah, let's show that. I liked it because it was easy. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the story of our hike today at Agnes Vale Falls. Trail is officially closed. Thank you for watching our video.